it was probably my first lead role in, in this industry. And for that reason alone, there's always going to be some kind of special connection. Um, I fell in love with the role on paper. Um, it was just such a well executed character and a true anti-hero and the design of the story made for a true anti-hero. So I was really excited about that. Um, ultimately, it's been the fans of the franchise that have kind of kept me so loyal to it. I think people can identify with Riddick's plight and that's why they uh, gravitate towards that character or appreciate that character. They can identify with the idea of being prejudged and ruled out and given up on and underestimated. I think those are, are, are feelings that we all have at some point or another. And I think the fact that Riddick is able to overcome those uh, through action is something that people appreciate. A lot of people that come out of the movie feel like it's an homage to Pitch Black and yet keeps the question alive, where is Riddick from and where is he going? There were people on Facebook saying, if every one of us gave you $10, you could go make the movie yourself. Uh, you have to make this movie. And comments like that made me feel like I had to make it at all costs. Uh, it was, I felt like I had owed it to the fans that have been watching, or that have been so loyal to this franchise and re-watching the films over and over again and needed new content. She brings a lot to the role of doll. She's sexy and formidable in a way that we believe. Um, she does have already a Comic-Con-like following, which is cool. Um, but she came in guns blazing to get that role, and that's exactly what she did. I think she brings a lot to the table. I think people are going to be really excited and really happy that she's in the movie and enjoy her role. Carl Urban's so great, and we had such a great time uh, while shooting Chronicles of Riddick in Vancouver. Um, but again, that speaks to um, acknowledging where this mythology is going. So it was very important, and we were very lucky that Carl Urban was able to come up. The real reason why Riddick is on this planet is because he is searching for home and realizes that his stay as a necromonger king can end well. Multiple assassination attempts and what have you. Uh, and he's somewhat duped to be left on this island that's this planet that's supposed to be where he's from. And in seconds he realizes it's not Furia. <laughs>